morning, <clears throat> Wednesday the 14th of August. Um, just sprayed with Dynamec. I always do this time of year just as the petals are showing. Or starting to show, which is a bit early. Um, we have an early kiwi. Lovely green centre. Hopefully that goes, but I doubt it will. Um, just for the red spider mite, I haven't seen any sign of it, but before I put covers up, which will probably be Friday, um, usually it's today, the Wednesday, um, of the week, <coughs> week before, but um, it's been hot again. We had uh, 34 degrees on Monday, 26 yesterday, cooler today, I think it's going to be about 24, 25, um, but it's been hot. Um, things have moved along a little bit quick or a bit too quick in some cases but that's the kiwi I secured all the buds or well, all the national buds on uh, Tuesday um, Tuesday oh, no sorry Saturday I finished off through to Tuesday on the miniatures um, just purely because I've run out of time and I've pretty much secured every stem on the plot now um, won't be much rolling into Surrey but um, hopefully buds like that and smaller as they're hiding in there will see me through to Withley and then there'll be uh, plenty of flowers so these are the dyings obviously this is a, the bed that is time to be a follow on to the other I've got one plant that I must have done early um, hopefully this bed will see me in and through the bank holiday um, this is also the dark time that isn't looking very dark um, and then this is when I'm dying as you see Evelyn a couple of buds there and um, the rest of these are gonna again follow on after the bank holiday the Giants might be time to think about a different variety uh, for next year there's a bit of indifference in the stock I think and I, I rogue it every year but it just seems to always throw a few iffy plants but they're doing okay it's just they're going to be later than I would like Mary's doing really well um, whether they're a bit too strong there's quite a big stem on the, on that but timing wise they, they should be spot on um, and again this is the earlier road now it's Trisha doing it's usual loop -de loop -de loo <laughs> you can't straighten them out but um, just like that uh, and there's going to be some early flowers what is a fear with this for me is whether it's going to be big enough but um, that one seems to be missing something there I just hope they will be at the time I actually need them but again all these have been secured um, down to that sort of bud, but every stem has been side shooted. Sandy gold, that early bud's popping out. It's there, it's okay. Um, considering I've quite, that's a decent looking plant, and I've restricted it a fair bit. Not the biggest to flower, but we shall see. And they still look nice on the table indoors. This is the uh, main bed of, of Mary's you can see a tiny bit shorter because they're a week behind but we've got all the buds from not quite there through um, let's have a bed of giants we'll up. just let these come early mainly because they were there and I knew there was not much behind them um, so that's just an early green you can see Jenny in the centre um, and they're four up trying to get a bit more form in them we'll see whether that works or not trying not to have dynamic dripping on my legs as I uh, walk up and down Blood like soft to gleam and I think pretty much most of the buds secured on that and I'm hoping possibly if ones like that Think that might be um, Essex, but a closed bud with petal like that should 
spear bank I'll be fair um, I hope so anyway because there's quite a few of them um, I don't want to waste that many but we shall see I still think that's probably an Essex bud maybe not that one that should be a, a Evercorn bud maybe it's all guesswork this time of year isn't it and then we've got a Scamsdale Jane nice clocky one there but there's only probably half a dozen at that stage um, the rest are at the smaller stage and beyond and again they've all been secured bombs um, this time last week we went through and disbudded and this week's Wednesday job is just to go through and disbud again so these would have been non-existent last week I always do two pairs of leaves as a minimum to start with until I start seeing some flower coming out for size um, make sure I've done that one and then as I go through and do that I then go through and do this which I didn't do last week because the buds weren't big enough to easily get to them just thumb and forefinger remove the calyxes there's a plant there that I've had a play with and I've had five minutes left at the end of the morning after watering or feeding or doing something and these have all been done <coughs> just need one of these I've got always let a couple of earlier buds come like that there's one down here just to check the size and if I need to I can whip through and just remove a, a bit of herbage but I'll go through again buds and calyx feeding next and then I'll get on them palms that's that job done they're all naked they sort of pop out the plant I mean uh, you take off the camouflage the green bricks there's quite a lot of buds there hopefully the right size and we'll make it for the first shows which I think they probably will it's Friday week before or seven days before cutting so the covers have gone up nice and tight plastic under those and it's just one sheet held over the frame and screwed in with a block on the side that's the same that's the same and then this one which the varieties that don't need covering I've covered them with just some EnviroMesh so it lets the air through just takes the sting out of the sun and I hope if it does belt down with rain which we haven't had any rain of any consequence this month so far and um, it might just protect the flowers Wednesday the 21st of August um, a lot more colour than the last one in fact too much colour um, a kiwi yeah yeah that's it's the end of the day now so or afternoon so uh, we're not enjoying a bit of warmth but I'm not holding out much hope I've put a bit of netting up above them just to give them a bit of northern sunlight and um, let's see it was only a, a chance it this bit of die ends um, is, I would say well timed for going through the season now won't be much or any for uh, Essex on Sunday and this is the, the dark day in, it's supposed to be I've got one plant there but next to it should be the same it's a normal wind on dying as you can see the ones behind um, so that's probably going to be a near miss and I'm going to leave me with about 80 odd or about 80 when I'm dying which isn't such a bad thing in this bed it's just going to miss the, the shows by 
probably two or three days. Or well, these flowers certainly are. I don't think that's going to hold on till Saturday or Sunday. And that's probably one of the oldest blooms that needs the judge to walk in now at least and judge it. There's plenty of fruit there. I'm really pleased with the, the quality. Yeah, it's a lovely flower. Good form. Nice and refined. Nice size. Nice shape. Solid stem. Um, just the timing. But then we've got another bit of it here which again is slightly better timed just not for uh, the weekend really the giants still a, a bit in difference in the stock again and it becomes a bit of a waste of time but this is one that's just really starting to pop open the aggie white this bed is mostly aggies with a few uh, louis and there's one coming open there and then that bed is mostly green with a few louis but there's, there's some indifference and the plants are quite short but we shall see what comes of them but they'll be probably good from uh, I would imagine a, being a good flush for Kent and, and National with the buds that are there uh, the Marys again one or two wonky centres which you do get got some lovely flowers amongst them um, just not Flowers that are going to hold out to the weekend, but there is plenty following behind. I can see me having a good dead head heading session in a day or two's time, and likewise, now it's Trisha. Um, I only really need it for the earlier shows, but there's plenty of other buds in amongst there, as we can see, to come out, and hopefully, they'll be okay for maybe national um, but I'm going to waste a few of those again there is a, a variable, I mean all these plants come off of two little pot tubers um, and we've got Nero's Trisha what I know is Nero's Trisha and we've got light Nero's Trisha <laughs> it happened with the Accords and I don't think this is a cord, but um, there is a slight variance in colours between them and like with the cord, the light one is smaller than the dark one. So there's one or two nice flowers amongst them and I'm quite looking forward to getting one or two on the bench if I can. Again, that's a today's flower, not a Sunday flower. The uh, Sandia Gold, that's quite as tidy as I'd hoped but so the, the bed's going to be flowers indoors I think because the plants aren't healthy and these are the other bed of Mary's which again it's most of those are going to come later or come through to, to National I hope up and down a bit with the uh, softer gleam I don't know whether it's where I stopped them in two batches or the first batch I stopped were the stronger plants, hence why they were the first lot, and then the second lot were the weaker plants, but they seem to be uh, levelling up or catching up. And not quite so early with these, I mean that, that's a flower I'd like to be cutting in the morning at that stage, or maybe getting it in front of a judge, but there's plenty more that are still got in the middles and those are probably see me like that perhaps into Sunday. Scone Star Jane um, disappointment really just looking at the, the early flowers just some iffy centres um, there's not many good ones and some clock face blooms hopefully I can find avars out of the this lot for the national, the rest of it I can probably get by, but that one's just popped. So is that just slightly over one? Not great, so I need to rethink the miniature deck next year. And the palms have gone through for the third time today. I've just noticed I missed one. 
uh, just doing the calyxes, taking those off, disbudding any that are there to disbud, which will probably be past uh, the national time, really. Any of the smallest buds like this will be after the shows, really, but I've done them and then took out any shoots that aren't going to flower just so that they don't interfere with the flowers that are developing over the next couple of weeks. But, uh, they're looking right. They've been, a, I would say they're a touch small. They're not small, small, but they're a touch small. That's still a young bloom. Um, so I, I did take a bit of foliage out of them, or a, bit, a few shoots out of them. And they've had a little feed today. Netting went up just to just finish putting it up around the size just to stop the uh, wind a bit because we're due for uh, a couple of windy days coming up so hopefully that'll ease the uh, flowers getting rattled together right probably see you at the weekend morning saturday the 24th of august so we're cutting for essex i did nip up here and uh Yesterday, nip do a couple of times and had to do some watering as well. But I cut um, enough blooms to go up to the Midlands and do a, a championship up there. Um, I took Trisha, Diane's, the uh, Mirrors Amanda, and some palms. Got them staged, left at quarter past four and got there um, about quarter past seven, and I was home by midnight last night and uh, up again starting again some will say this isn't perfect weather it's rainy but for me with the ban perfect cutting weather it's going to be dull all day and cool nothing much more than about 17 so i can cut them straight into the van and hopefully leave them there and take them straight to the show rather than having to take them out sort them out so i'm going to cut and sort a bit as i go i don't mind it taking longer because i'm not worried about the sun coming up Oh, getting too hot. So this is where we're at. Might be a giant there. Still got plenty to go though there, but the Louis there might be okay. And then hopefully plenty of most of the rest. Didn't take any um, softer gleams. Um, felt that the centers might have held. That was one that could have took and it's only just holding but there's plenty plenty more in there I hope or at least enough for a good vase um, let's get going that's the cut done um, so time now half oh, past three it's only just stopped raining We've got a bit of a wet back and a wet cap but uh, the place is looking a little bit bare now I mean, there's even sunflowers like that one. I could probably uh, cut and take, but I've cut about 50 um, dying, so that's enough. Um, doesn't look like there's <coughs> loads that are going to be uh, coming for Wednesday, but there's a lot coming soon after, which should be all the buds for the petals. Didn't cut any water lilies. But we've got a van full, or nearly a van full, including a bucket of bombs when I put them in. Right, get a few bits together and off to the show. It's going to be a long night. Well, that's a great show at Essex. Um, one every trophy class are entered. Hopefully, you've just seen the, the pictures. And now I'm up to water, cane, and get ready for cutting tomorrow for um, SDDS Abercorn, Silk Corn at Southern Championships. Because um, there's already an Essex, Kent, Surrey, except Norfolk and Suffolk, etc. Not so many flowers. Um, I think it's a sort of in between -y. But luckily, we only need vases of three. Um, so they should find some of those amongst these um, and looks like the planning of this row 
starting to flower after this row is, is working okay. Um, might be a few giants, but I think most of these are possibly weekend flowers and national, but hopefully we can find a few. And Mary's, and hopefully some Noah's Trisha. Definitely need uh, free good ones um, for tomorrow or Wednesday. I'm going to use a, a flush. I might actually take a vase home for the other half. And the Mary's. Again, it's a bit of a low in the flush on those, but you can see all these buds coming behind. Hopefully we'll make uh, national next week. Some more giants. Bit of a dip in the softer gleams. And the skin star Jane. Need three of those for tomorrow. And a few palms. So we'll just get watered, start caning and see what we can find. But not quite the flush we just had, but there's definitely a flush on its way. Morning, 27th of uh, August. <coughs> Here to cut for the SDDS Overcorn Show. To cut some of these uh, kiwi. They all had holes in the middle. Um, Last night, I've cut them and left, but they seem to be closing. I just left them in water, and then they get more water, or left in water, um, through the next 24 hours or so. That may help. And these are the ones that we've caned and ready to cut. On the dines, I caned the Mary's and I think it's had a good water. It's going to be hot for a few days, so I'll just get on with the task of cutting. Giants first, as always, then the large. I'm hoping to cut ones like this. But there's a few to choose from. Um, and then work my way down the list and hopefully be done by 10 o'clock the latest. It's half past five now. Um, that's probably quite a task, but let's see how we get on. Here we go again. It's quarter to six, Friday the 30th of August. Um, did some caning yesterday for, this is for Kent uh, tomorrow, so I've got to get cut. Where I start the same place, the Kiwis, and I hardly ever cut some other than for uh, Abercorn. On Wednesday, which you hopefully have seen, but they were very shallow, as are these. But if I cut any today, it was still in a reasonable flush, or good flush. This is the first bed that I expected to be all but over by now, and obviously the second bed, which is for Kent through National, is coming at full belt, and this one's pretty much the same. The giants have all decided to start turning up. There's quite a few there. There's quite a few there and they've really not been the same or as good this year. Whether that's the four up, I try to do it to improve form. I'm not sure it has. Um, and the Marys, I've had some really good Marys all year and it sounds like I'm complaining about nothing but for some strange reason I've had better plant flowers from this half than this where I normally grow them although this bed really is only just coming into full flush and hopefully um, given the choices for Wisley I might find a few there um, the real crux of the matter will be whether I find free Nails Trisha for Wisley because we are getting to the back end of this I know on here it looks like there's a few flowers but by the time I've cut today's ones and they're not going to last till uh, Monday the ones I cut today there ain't going to be very many left there these I've just let go um, they're pretty but not much use softer gleams again never had a real glut of them for, for 36 plants and every flower's been showable. They've just never quite got into a, what I feel is a full belt. 
that part of the plants are shorter, but they're, they're still reasonable. Uh, the flowers are reasonable, but they're not quite felt that they've had an a excess of them as such. And yeah, skims down, still green skims down, blowing its centres. I did find a couple of vases of three, but not much more. And the palms, um, not sure. Some variable colours, that could be the heat. We've been getting a lot more um, heat again. Uh, say heat 24 degrees red on Wednesday 28 degrees and I don't like these changes and it does mess about with the colour on them a bit but hopefully I can find six that's really all I need to give me some options for a championship right that's enough of that let's get cutting